Ever found yourself at the edge of your seat, captivated by the sleek intensity of a classic crime thriller? Perhaps the first time you witnessed the gripping narrative unfold in the iconic 1968 film Bullet? Whether it's your initial encounter or a recurrent dive into its compelling world, this cinematic gem has left an indelible mark on audiences over the years. Out of the myriad characters weaving through the intricate storyline, did one role stand out as your favorite? In the dynamic realm of Bullet, personalities clash and alliances shift, offering a rich tapestry of performances that have resonated with viewers through the decades. Now, as we delve into the fascinating realm of Bullet, let's rewind to your most cherished memory or personal experience linked to this cinematic masterpiece. What moment from the film stuck with you, creating an enduring connection? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're eager to hear your unique perspectives on this timeless classic. Setting the stage for our exploration, let's unravel some random facts about Bullet. The film, with its gritty portrayal of a relentless pursuit of justice, not only defined the genre, but also marked a pivotal moment in cinematic history. The talk direction, Steve McQueen's magnetic presence, and the now legendary car chase sequence through the hilly streets of San Francisco have etched Bullet into the annals of film noir. As we navigate through the labyrinth of this cinematic classic, let the nuances of its narrative and characters spark a renew with appreciation for the timeless allure of Bullet. What aspects of this film continue to resonate with you and what revelations have each viewing uncovered? Your insights are not just a reflection on a bygone era of cinema, but a testament to the enduring legacy of Bullet. So share your thoughts and let the conversation unfold. Your stories are an integral part of the cinematic journey. The iconic green Mustang GT in the 1968 movie was unveiled at the 2018 Detroit Motor Show, marking a reunion with the new Bullet Mustang. Ford showcased it alongside the 2019 model. The original letter from Steve McQueen's production company, expressing his desire to reclaim the car in 1977, added a nostalgic touch. Director Peter Yates aimed for speeds of 75-80 mph during the famous chase scene, but the car's cameras in tow exceeded 110 mph. The three-week shoot resulted in nine minutes and 42 seconds of intense footage. Surprisingly, filming was denied on the Golden Gate Bridge. For the chase, two Mustangs and two Dodge Chargers were used. Owned by Ford, the Mustangs were part of a promotional deal with Warner Brothers. Modified by racer Max Balchowski, they were driven by stuntman Bud Ekins. The Dodges were scrapped post-filming. One Mustang, refused by its owner, eventually ended up in a New Jersey barn, resurfacing for the 2018 Bullet Mustang promotion at the Detroit Auto Show. The movie's legacy lives on, intertwined with the roar of powerful engines and the thrill of an unforgettable chase. Director Peter Yates, chosen by Steve McQueen for his expertise in realistic car chases, delivered an iconic sequence in the 1968 film. McQueen's preference for Yates stemmed from the director's prior work on robbery, where he showcased an authentic car chase through the streets of London. This collaboration resulted in the famed bullet chase scene reaching speeds beyond the intended 75-80 mph. The intensity of the pursuit led to a captivating 9 minutes and 42 seconds of footage, a testament to McQueen's commitment to realism in action. Adding to the film's allure, the jazz band Meridian West played at the Coffee Cantata scene. Discovered by McQueen in San Francisco, the band's unique touch brought vibrancy to the film. While credited, the actual music in the scene was composed by Lalo Skifrin, not Meridian West, as revealed by guitarist Larry Vaught. A noteworthy aftermath of the Bullet legacy is the auction of the remaining Mustang used in the film. On January 9, 2020, the iconic car fetched a staggering $374 million, underlining the enduring impact of this 1968 classic. The 1968 movie Bullet, with its realistic car chases and memorable scenes, continues to resonate, transcending its era and leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. In the iconic car chase scene from the 1968 classic Bullet, Steve McQueen's commitment to authenticity shines through. Peter Yates, the chosen director for his expertise in realistic car chases, brought a unique touch to the film. During the intense pursuit, the Dodge and Mustang weave through the streets, passing the same dark-colored Volkswagen Beetle at least three times, and a white Pontiac Firebird is spotted twice. Adding to the intrigue, McQueen made a deliberate choice during the famous chase. 
He kept his head near the open car window to reassure audiences that it was indeed him, not a stuntman behind the wheel. This dedication to realism elevated the impact of the scene. Noteworthy is the hospital basement sequence where Lieutenant Frank Bullitt breaks the glass door in pursuit of the killer. Across from the parked ambulance, the black 1968 Dodge Charger, unbeknownst to Bullitt, is strategically parked where the killer and Phil the driver are hiding. These meticulous details from the repeated encounters with specific vehicles to McQueen's hands-on approach in the chase contribute to the enduring legacy of Bullitt. The film's commitment to realism and attention to detail continue to resonate, making it a standout in cinematic history. Lieutenant Bullitt's laid-back weekend attire, featuring a turtleneck, sport coat, slacks, and suede-like shoes, became iconic in the 1968 classic. This choice wasn't just a stylistic decision. It aligned with the relaxed dress code for plainclothes officers on weekends, reflecting real police department traditions. Interestingly, Bullitt starts the film in a conservative Navy suit on a Friday, a nod to the attention to detail with clothes supplied by a London menswear shop, Doogie Haywoods, known to be Peter Yates Taylor's. This attention to authenticity extends beyond wardrobe choices. Bill Hickman, the backup hitman and driver of the Charger, brought a wealth of experience to the film. Notably, 13 years prior, he was with James Dean on that fateful day in Salinas, California, extricating Dean's body from the wreck after a tragic accident. Hickman's expertise in driving stunts and racing added a genuine touch to the intense car chase scenes, making them more than just scripted action. The film's safe house scenes, shot around the Kennedy Hotel at 226 The Embarcadero near Howard Street, provide a glimpse into the changing face of San Francisco. The demolition of this location, along with a two-level freeway behind it, was part of a major waterfront development post the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. This transformation echoes the lasting impact of Bullet, not just as a cinematic masterpiece, but also as a snapshot of a city's evolving landscape. In Bullet, every detail matters from wardrobe choices reflecting police traditions to the real-life experiences of the cast and the changing urban backdrop. These intricacies contribute to the enduring legacy of a film that goes beyond the screen, capturing a moment in time. As we bid adieu to the asphalt symphony and the cinematic dance of steel horses, let the echoes of Bullet resonate within the corridors of your memories. Whether you've traversed the streets of San Francisco in your mind or felt the rumble of McQueen's Mustang in your very soul, Bullet is more than a film, it's a journey, a visceral pulse in the collective heartbeat of cinema. As the credits roll and the screen fades to black, take a moment to immerse yourself in the residue of cool, left behind by McQueen's iconic presence and the film's indelible legacy. Reflect on the adrenaline-fueled whispers that still reverberate through your veins the essence of Bullet a timeless enigma that transcends the confines of the silver screen. Now, dear friend, it's your turn to share. Unleash the floodgates of your memories, let the nostalgia wash over you, and tell us about the whispers of bullet that linger in your own narrative. Whether it's a clandestine viewing under the cover of night or a shared cinematic pilgrimage with kindred spirits, your bullet tales are the stitches weaving this cinematic tapestry. Engage with us, fellow aficionados, for it is in the exchange of stories that the true magic of Bullet persists. Your words become the fuel that propels this enduring classic through the corridors of time, a perpetual voyage that unites us in the realm of shared experiences. Thank you for embarking on this reflective journey with us, kindred spirit. Your time and contemplation are cherished ingredients in the cauldron of cinematic connection. Until our next rendezvous with a silver screen, may your memories of Bullet continue to burn bright. Enigmatically yours, and with profound gratitude, the Chronicles of Cinema.